So one of the cool things that uh, we're doing out here by patrolling national forest lands and seeing what wildlife policies look like on the ground is just to see what it looks like in the winter time, whether it's hunting activity, carnivore activity, or just just to kind of see who, what people and animals are doing. So we've been driving along these snow covered roads, looking at tracks and uh, been seeing somebody who's been stopping often and we're not sure what that reason is for. So we saw a flag tree, so we decided to check it out. We'll show you what we found. We're in the Schwamagon National Forest right now. Pretty wild fungus growing on the trees here. I don't know if that's kaga root or not. So we're following these footprints. There's a beaten trail here. No flagging. So what we found is, uh, it's pretty cool actually, this is just a hair trap. This is, a, um, there's a, it's labeled, it's a study being done on American martins and it's a non-lethal trap meant to catch hair off of the martin. So we'll take a little look at that without disturbing it. Got a little uh, piece of wire with some bait inside this little Dixie cup here. Gets the, the animal on the tree. And then over here, you can look, you can see the labels with a number. And the cool thing is, can you stick the camera down there so we can actually see what the trap looks like? Here, let's go like this. So if you look inside there, you see those little brushes. The animal's meant to go through there to reach the bait, rubbing up against the brushes and leaving DNA samples on its hair. I think that's pretty cool. So uh, we're obviously not gonna touch this. This is just another way that uh, other people who care about wildlife, what they're doing is the gathering more information about the predators and the carnivores in this area and hopefully making good decisions on public policies that affect them.